Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder, and here we are with another Let's Play series of Farming Simulator, but this one we're doing FS22, and our first start at playing at No Man's Land with nothing. Um, I've got and made all my changes to the game so that all my settings are here, so in case you're curious, we're going to be on American units, no radio, um, we have to start and stop the engine on our own, we have to refill our own stuff on, the own, on our own, um, <clears throat> We're going to have seasons on time scale. We're going to leave uh, at one, uh, two times for now, just because I can always speed that up as I need. Um, economic difficulty hard. Auto save intervals will do over 15 minutes. Yes, yes, yes. Snow, yes. But the real main things I don't have on are I don't have crop destruction on because I think it's, you know, it's cool to find used narrow tires and stuff. But I, how many times have I accidentally driven on a thing, forgetting that it's on? So that's first off. Secondly, periodic plowing. I don't really care for that. Um, Fieldstone doesn't really benefit all that much. It just is annoying. Lime I'll leave on and weeds I'll leave on. And then everything else, we're kind of like, oh, we're going to have to refill all our own, our own stuff too. So there's that. Second, we are in multiplayer mode. So that means that we have to create farms. Um, and what I'll try probably do, to do here is I'll probably use this creating of a new farm um, situation to add businesses and things to sell that way it's a whole separate ordeal um, I don't have to pay for it out of my own money unless I want to put it on my own farm let's say I want to be a bakery you know then maybe I'll put the bakery on my own uh, farm but otherwise for the most part we're gonna put all these other things uh, as if it was an extra world situation and there was other people moving into this place with us and we're starting in August, so we could be planting canola right now. Don't know that we're going to go the route of canola. Don't know that we're going to start really at all, because we may not have the money, because we are in debt. Let's take a look at the money tab. Uh, money tab, where do we see the money tab? Why can't I find my money? Probably because I don't even own anything. Oh, because probably because we don't even have a farm right now. I'll call this Chuck's Farm. Chuck Thunders Ranch. R yeah, we'll go with Ranch. We'll need a password for it. We'll do yellow because that's our trademark color here. Black and yellow, baby. We're going to see if, if we can make any of our tractors and stuff black and yellow too because that's very us. Uh, that's my channel's uh, color scheme that I'm going for. So we'll go black and yellow say create farm and we're given five hundred thousand dollars but we're going to change is it five hundred thousand yeah we're probably given five hundred thousand dollars with debt so we'll see that in a second okay so here we are what are we going to use our five hundred thousand dollars on oops um, also, I want to see um, there's nothing here for me to buy. Like, it's not working. There's no buy or sell points or anything. starts with buying this plot of land which I might do but this is really strange long um, hmm. all right yeah so we have two hundred thousand dollars a loan and five hundred thousand dollars in our own money so we're just gonna go ahead and repay that off and we're gonna start with three hundred thousand dollars that'll be how we how we start the game for us. Also, and we'll call this. We're going to call this the town. So we're no. We're going to call this town, No Man's Town. Their color is going to be green. Okay. 
Okay, so we're still in that. Oh, now the things are populating. I don't know why. Well, they didn't before. <laughs> Very strange. Now I have the buy menu. I don't know what triggered. But, uh, we are going to go ahead and immediately switch over to this. And we are going to pay off that debt too as well, because we don't need any debt going on here. And we're going to give the town money when we need it in order to do stuff. But for right now, we don't need to have debt on them. Period. And the town is going to first be set up. So before we, before we even move in, there should be a small town. A really basic situation like we could do all our selling and buying here for a lot of cases like right now what can we sell mm -hmm. sell places yeah we could sell right here at the farm shop we could sell wheat barley oats can we sell um production yeah i guess we can farm sell stuff at the farm shop we could do all of those things too but you know it it might make sense to i don't know what this one's for oh this is for production goods i see And then this here is for poured goods. And this is a buy point for all sorts of seeds and things. Okay, I gotcha. And is on the other side, this is where we buy stuff and repair things, is right in here. But is the fuel still on the other side over here? Yeah, there's the f animals. Yep, there's fuel. And here's animal productions. Okay, everybody pastures. So, yeah, okay, we got it all. Alright, so first things first as this town uh, maybe we don't build the town first what we'll do is if we get enough people involved in the game series we will build the town as people suggest what I should do um, as of right now this is just me out here farming trying to make a living selling to the farm stock here and that's it so we're gonna switch back over to the other farm and we are gonna buy our first stuff so what can we buy today that we need to get started. So first we need to buy a plot of land. I really don't know what kind of land I want to buy. I don't want to be too far off this beaten path road. Everyone goes with this and it's it's tempting because obviously it comes with a field already which really isn't necessary. It comes with some buildings which is kind of cool. Um, and it may be the best way to start. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Everyone starts here. We're going to start here. And it costs 85000 and we need a vehicle to get down there, so we're going to go ahead and get our first farm vehicle. Now, we kind of want to get a vehicle that can be multi-purpose for us. Um, I don't want to buy a pickup truck, be just because all they do is tow and carry, and I don't need a tractor just yet, because those tractors kind of just become a little bit too... They do they are they're used a little bit too... Um, narrow for me. I mean, I guess I could go with a small tractor. There are small tractors that I can get some good use out of. Uh, in the past, I have used the tractor eventually. The question is what tractor. Last time I used this guy, and there's just nothing on the front, which is kind of a problem. I need a three-point on the front, and that may be some one of these guys that I end up using. Um, I really like Massey Ferguson, but I don't think I could change the colors of these tractors. Um, can I change the color of this one? Nope. Change the color of this one? Nope. Can I change the color of this one? I can. Yeah, I can get all the different colors I want, so I can do our yellow. Hmm. This is tempting, but there's no front on it, and I kind of wish I had that. Can we get a, we can get a front loader attacher? But can we do without the weight in the front? Jeez. There's a lot of mass in the front. Like I said, we don't need narrow tires. This is tempting, but for right now we gotta we gotta go a little small. We need something that's gonna be an all-purpose vehicle for us. Something that we could use kind of like at all times. We're going to go with one of these John Deere Gators. This one, one of these two is the four-wheel drive. This this one has, I think, more ability because it's a six wheels, but I just don't like the way the way the six wheels looks, but 
I'm gonna do the two wheel. I don't like the way it looks. All right, configuration. We can get weights on the front. More weights. Upper bumper. Bumper. More frame stuff. And that is a trailer hitch on the front. That's interesting. Bumper. Bumper. More bumpers. I think we're just gonna get the one with the trailer hitch on the front because at least it's gonna be useful to us. Potentially. Trelleborg tires or Michelin tires. Nokia tires. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't cost us anything else, does it? Oh, yeah, it does. So, we're going to go with the Trelleborgs. Uh, model note. We can get the one with the screen. The racking and all that stuff. This is all extra. Right now, we got to be very keen with our money situation. So, we are going to just ignore it. Even for $100, we're going to win screen. But ignore it. We don't want the beacons either. Additional lights, you don't need those. Uh, we can get larger engines. I think here we shouldn't skimp. It doesn't seem. Oh, it doesn't cost anything else either. Alright, so we're going to get the 50 kilometer option. Main color, naturally, you're going to go yellow. Design color, we're going to go black. Room color, we'll go black on that. The license plates. We're going to name it Chuck. Oh, it's going to be numbers. That's lame. I'm making this all dumb kind of license plate. Yeah, i got to use numbers in the middle. Well, we're just going to make it up. Oh, gosh. We're going to use... What's today's date? Today's the... Today is January 16, 2022. So we're going to do with one... We're going to go with 122 because we are in January 2022. And we're going to end it in CK because of Chuck. Or we could do CK. Or we could do TH. Like Chuck Thunder. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, wait, no. What are we doing here? There's different types of license plates. Now we can just write the whole thing out Chuck Thun. That's good enough. And back all is fine. Uh -huh. Black is fine. All right. There's our license plate. <laughs> Chuck <laughs> Thund. Weird. All right. Whatever. So we got that there on the front. There is there more things I can. Oh, you know what it is. There now I need to buy the back. All right. So that's it. And that's what we're gonna get right now. It costs us fifteen grand. It's going to be a good all-purpose vehicle. It'll do a lot of things for us to start. We just got to make sure we buy all the things that we need for it. So we're going to start by buying that. And then we're going to buy the parts for it. So I believe the parts are under trailers. So I technically think that... See, here's... Yeah, so there's a... That's just a loader back. Okay, so it's not, it'll be underneath each different kind of trailer situation. So... Um, so we get a cultivator for it? I don't think so right now. So where, where else are we going to find the rest of these parts? They're not going to be under weights. Not under header trailers. A bit of miscellaneous. Yeah, there's the three-point lifter we're probably going to need. So that's, that's really important. We're going to get that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, man, I can't even change the color. You're going to give me this thing, I could change its colors, and then it's going to be green. Ah, whatever. Okay. So that's fine. Can we get a sprayer? Because that would be nice. Yep. It's not much, but it'll work for us. But we don't even know that we need it right now. We at least need a three-point. I think. We'll at least go with that. Here we are in our bright yellow tractor with a green back. And in order to attach this, just gotta slide in there. Boom. God, it looks awful. <sighs> I chose yellow, and yet it's gonna have to look like this. Alright, but now before we leave, um,. It's a three-point attachment. I'd like to can we get a trailer on this thing too. A small trailer. Just a tiny, tiny trailer. 
Who's our two trailers? We got 11 grand for that guy. We got four grand for this trailer. It's not bad. I could go with the skip. Just to have some fillage with it. Three grand for that guy. Oh, you're nine grand for this one. Kind of like this reddish one. It's good middle of the road. Nothing too crazy. I think I'll be able to hook up to it. This one's nice too. Well, we don't need anything that big at the moment. And this one can be modified. Which is kind of what I'm looking for. Except I don't like that it has this back on it. I don't even know if it has straps. That's another problem. Because what if I want to do some logging? No, that's going to be a problem. Well, better than nothing, we'll make it. We'll start with. I'm having a hard time deciding. Too many options. Too many options. What are my cedar options do? Uh, I'm not gonna be able to seed with this machine. I don't know why I bought the three point. Why did I buy the three point if I can't even use it? I had big ambitions. Well, one way or another, it's a way for us to come back and forth. Let's go down to our shop. We could always come back and buy something else. Let's go down. Let's go down to our farm. This is probably where we'll build our first location for selling. In part of the city of the town. We we'll out this way. Probably what we'll do. There are, you know, there are other trailers we could use. Like this is a good trailer for hauling, hauling some things too. It's not bad. We may end up doing that trailer for other purposes. I feel like it can't be that bad. We're a brand new farmer. We do not have any tractors. Oh, look at a hot air balloon. We got a trailer hitch on the front of us. We got a three point back. Which I'm not even sure what we can even use with this thing yet. Hey, everybody. We honking. We honking. That sounds like a town in New Jersey. We honking. Alright, so. Oh, yeah. We literally have nothing. I bought this property thinking I was going to have the uh, all the things that go with it, but it's all right. We, we don't mind starting from scratch. Let's, uh, we moved in, but we have no place to live. That's not a big deal. So we're going to go ahead and start living. Where do we want to put our house? Let's see. Let's go down. What's their sales on, too? I should probably check what's sales on sales. Ooh. Decent tractors on sale. That's <sighs> tempt that's tempting. That's pretty tempting. It's a decent tractor. It's a good starting tractor. Comes with a front attacher. The Howard one costs more, but it the quickie does come. With it, the engine setup I can get bigger. Which cost me fifteen grand, but that's fifteen grand I don't have to spend on it to start so that's all or something we're gonna do wheel setups we can get wheel weights so that way we have some extra weight in the back wide tires I don't really care for that twin wheels rear twins narrows I don't really need so just your regular tires I think we may be buying this one doesn't cost us anymore for the Michelins or the Continentals the Midas does though, because I guess they are wider tires. PKTs. Kind of like these. These look pretty darn cool. Yeah, we're going to go with these guys. They look pretty dope. Those extra rugged looking tires. We're going to buy you. And this is also one sale. Mm. I think we might just have to pick you up as well. And we are going to get the bail handler probably to go with it. 
Um, it's sort of downloadable. I'm not recalling now. Transport. No. Fun motor tools. Yeah, the bag lifter. We might go with that. Oh, maybe not. I forget what the item is. Maybe I don't have it yet. I'll probably just get forks to start. Where's the quickie forks at? Pallet fork. Bale spikes. Stall forks. Yeah, it's probably just this one. Alright. I'm still getting sidetracked. I said I was going to build something. And here I am getting distracted by my tractors. But this is a decent tractor to start, so... Why is this already broken? Oh, because it's used. Duh. It's okay. We don't need to fix it just yet. Oh, get the forks on there. And boom. So now we got a pretty good all-around tractor to start. And we're going to leave it here for now because we're going to probably pick up some stuff we're going to use for farming. Alright, so we are going to buy our first stuff here when it comes to our construction sites so if there's anything I want to do it's to build our farmhouse first now I have a couple options down here they come, here's the one that comes with no man's land that was sitting right here but it might work we might also go with the little lizard hut you know, you know it's really tiny we also might go with the trailer that is more like a I rolled it in here it's kind of like the case I might go with for the sake of role playing here, because if you think about it, we're not going to go be building any houses, and we could just pop up a tent right now. But that's just kind of like cheating it out to me, I think. So I think we might build this little trailer here, because we we were kind of rolled in, we're just kind of here, and I want I want waterfront, I want waterfront property. We're not going to build on the freaking thing like that, but we're going to build waterfront. So here we are. Where's our home? Just want to make sure it makes sense. It's got to be on flat ground. Like, just like this. Beautiful house. Okay. And now we have a place to stay. Um, what else do we need? Probably need a place to call home for our... Oh, these are way stations. Um, we could get a water station, but we don't really need that because we got this right here. Silos, we don't really know that we're going to need right now, just because we are, we don't have anything. Um, other tools, these are buy and sell points we're not going to need. This is a workshop, which is kind of cool, but it's huge, and it's also like elevated for whatever reason, so we're not going to use that one. Here's the workshop that comes with the place. This was tempting, just because we are going to need it. Um, to do repairs on our stuff, which I have the mod on that you can do repairs without it, but we're going to try to be realistic without it if we can. Um, production, we're not going to be doing anything yet. No animals, decorations, we're not going to really need. We're not going to need to smooth anything out. And do we have a place to store our stuff? That's the other question. Do we want us something to store our stuff in? You know, we can go for lots of different options. They're all relatively expensive. I guess one here is forty grand. I don't know if I want to spend that kind of money. I could buy one of these big guys for only ten grand, but I only just got here. I got one of these rundown barns for eight grand. It's a lot I could do with this, but I just I don't really care for how difficult it is to pull in and out of these things. Here's another one. Kind of cool. A single one. Kind of looks better. I don't know why this one's snapping like that. What a really dumb rotate method. I, I don't really care for that. I could do an outdoor one. That's not bad. 
Or just a shed. It's like bigger than my damn house. It doesn't seem to scale really well. And that's too big. That's too big. Eh, it's okay. There's another one that's decent. I think it comes down to that one or this one. This one's cheaper. And it's just some basic storage. So we're going to go with that right there. Boom. So that's where we're going to store our equipment for now. And that's all we got. It's all we really need to get started. So we really don't need much else with our space. We're just going to park you in here. And we're going to go see what we want to do. Actually, we're going to see what we want to do here. So we have a field that we get started with that is definitely uh, destroyed. So we're going to have to go over top of it with a cultivator. And if we can get one of those seeding and cultivating option combinations, that would be great. So that may be what we go with. So we're going to go to the shopping center here. We're going to look at our cultivators. Um, cedars. Because we want a cedar and a cultivator. Now I've used this Pottinger before, and we uh, do we have the 210 horsepower to use it? No, we don't. I think I have this one here. This one's it's 210 horsepower. That's just a, a lot. So we may not be able to do it. Um, we may have to cultivate and then seed. Oh, here's one that does. Um, nope, that doesn't do it either. The cedar offers a possibility to seed directly. Yeah, that's, that's that one does. Oh, well, that's 180 horsepower versus 210, and the swath size on that is so much better. 180 horsepower, though. I don't think our tractor could do that. That is the problem. Let's take a look. What is what does our tractor have? We have to look to see what we have. 180 horsepower is what we need. And this tractor only gives us 175, so it's really close. We'll probably struggle. So, we're going to have to go with a cultivator and a seeder. So, we're going to get ourselves a good cultivator to start. I just downloaded these new cultivators that I really love. They're nice and wide cultivators and relatively cheap. There's no reason why we couldn't explore some of these here. These are great now, but why are they so expensive? Is it really 110000 for a bunch of metal that you drag through the ground? I guess it could be, but... Just because these are so cheap, and I might regret downloading these, but... We're going to go ahead and pick this guy up, because he is a nice big cultivator. We're going to go with that yellow color I've been talking about. And black on everything else. Cool. Oh, yellow. Ooh, I don't like it. What about this one? No, black again. Alright. Bye. Because we're going to want the cultivator to make fields. <clears throat> that being one of the more important things we do in early game is make fields with this guy. Because that field is not going to be enough for us to start, that's for sure. Did I drop? Oh, duh. We just have the thing over there so as to help us carry some things back and forth from there. Alright. And while we're at it, we have it. We're going to use it. The ability to set up, go to. And he's going to show up here, and he's going to face that way and start. Is it going to work? You can do it. Yeah. All right. So he's going to start getting downtown. Because I bought used things, I got some broken stuff, but that's cool with me. This is still running. So what can we use with this guy? This guy has the ability to pick up some stuff and use some things. What can he possibly do? He's got only like so much horsepower. Did I really buy this and he didn't need it is what I'm worried about. 
excuse me, well, let's see. This thing only has 68 horsepower. So what even can I grab for 68 horsepower? Can I even bail for 68 horsepower? I can. This thing can use a baler. Can't use these, but it can use that. That is wild. Can use this one. It can use this baler. That's ridiculous. All right, so we have a secondary tiny piece of equipment that can do bailing if we would like to do bailing with this thing. It can do. It can do the work. So it's a secondary tractor, everybody. It's just a backup tractor. Which means that we kind of need something as a sprayer, too. So we are going to go pick up the sprayer option of this thing as well. Because we're going to want to spray for our weeds. And that's really important to me in this game. Sprayer. Not a whole much, but let's see how far it takes us just for now. Only two grand, it's going to work. And we're also going to probably pick up. We'll send this down there with a. Alright, here. That's close enough. Start the job. Can you do it? Nice. Okay, this tractor is struggling to find its way down. We're going to just take over because we're going to be using it in just a moment, anyways. I love how these chains are just free flowing and swinging. I used to use a piece of equipment at my old job that we would use to rake baseball fields, and that's pretty much how these things were. Little tines that you'd lay down. Okay, so the higher. And boom. It's cultivating. Now what else does this field need just to make sure that we're doing the field right? It needs to be seed bed? What does that mean? Stubble tillage? Oh, I, I don't know what that means. I have no idea. I just know it's not cultivated. So I'm not entirely sure what that exactly means. This doesn't say what growth types are, it just says needs lime. I don't know that much. It's double tillage. Well, we're going to find out when we try to seed over top and see what happens in a minute. Because I don't understand what that really means. Seed bed. Like, I don't I don't get it. And then stubble tillage. But, in either case, it's getting weeded. It does need lime. It is somewhat fertilized. We don't need to worry about rolling. Mulching won't be needed. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess we're just going to do that, and then we're going to need to lime it. So does the thing come with a lime spreader, too, on the back? Because if we can get a lime spreader, yeah, fertilizer lime. Pick that up, too. Crap, I guess I could have done the color for that. Jeez, this is really struggling. Well, while we wait for that, we're going to go visit. Can we visit up here? Yeah, we can just visit up here. We'll beat them up here. Well, we're going to change the color on this if we can. Yes, to yellow. So at least it matches. Yes, the yellow we want. Oh. I didn't confirm it. Customize yellow for 200 bucks. Sure. And can we customize this one too? We can make it yellow. Customize done. 
this one be customized? I don't remember seeing that it could be, but it should be. If all the other attachments are, why can't this one? Yeah, I guess I missed that part. So I'm stupid, but at least it matches now. Alright, we are here for this thing. I could pick up one of the two pieces. Really, we're going to need the lime spreader first, but it doesn't really matter because we are going to need... Gosh. We're going to get that utility trailer, too, while we're here. That miscellaneous trailer. Because we could use that to bring things back and forth from us. Whatever. Please tell me you can hook up, because that would be really dumb if you can't. We can. Okay, good. So that's good. Which means we are going to pick up a few things as well while we're here. Oh, you know what, though? We don't have our forklift. And this is why I'm saying, I'm thinking, I I got the forklift thing so I could use things around the farm. But, like, whenever you work in a place like this, these places have forklifts. So they can load you up. So I'm just going to imagine that's what's happening here. Um, we're going to buy a pallet of lime. What's the cheapest way to get lime? It's not this way. That's for sure, because here's... Here's solid, wait, solid fertilizer, sugar cane, seeds, lime is not one of those options. Oh, it's a big bag. Lime for 450 bucks. You can also fill this thing up with lime by going over there, but it's probably going to cost me more. So, we're going to get a big bag of lime, I think. Yeah, it's cheaper. Okay, and while we're here, we're going to quickly, we're going to save real quick, and we're going to switch to the other farm, because this farm should have a skid steer. It doesn't make sense to me that a skid steer would not be uh, existent here. So where are they? Telehandlers. No, I want a skid steer. Uh, nope, a skid steer. Oh, forklift. Duh. That's what I'm saying. People say the other one's better. They would have a good one. Alright, so there's no reason why this place would not have a forklift. I'm not going to take this forklift away from here. This is the forklift that belongs here. I think you could pick up big bags of these. Not very easily, but it is doable. Especially when you pinch them up against something like this. Get in there. You can do this. Alright, I guess not. Fit through the loop, yeah. There we go. Uh, forklifts can go higher than that, guys. That's really stupid. My forklift at work can go about 20 times higher than that. Stupid. that. You're also going to need to get a pesticide, which we are going to order now too. Liquid pesticide, obviously. Not a bag of it. Uh, what just happened? Oh, there we go. Alright. 
can't see anything about the forks while you're here. There we go. Cool. Pesticide, we're gonna load up in there. We're gonna need fertilizer, but we might do granular fert because we have the granular spreader. Liquid fert might be better actually. Cool. Do we wanna do guys I have super strength on. Just shifting things over. I know I could have used it. Um, now the question is, is, do we want to get liquid fertilizer or granular fertilizer? I feel like I want to do liquid because it depends. What is the spread on this? Well, we're going to find out eventually. So right now, I don't know the answer to that. Can't get in that, so we, we're good. I think we're done here for now. We got what we needed to get ourselves started. Oh, we're going to need seeds. Oh, well, we still need to get a seed and a, and a cedar, so for right now we're going to bring this back into there. So we've got to switch back to the other farm. Get in this. And you know what? We're going to act like this guy did us a solid and loaded this up for us as well. Oh wow, it doesn't fit. Well, it would have fit. Okay, that does not work. That worked, that worked. So, let's see how this works out. Huh, I guess it's strapped down. So, we're going to bring this back. We might set this up to tow back on its own. So far, the AI drivers don't know how to function sometimes with these roads, so we'll see if it works. Get going. Uh, this is your blocked by an object somehow. Mm, shouldn't be. Should not be. Well. This is supposedly done, and you are a cultivator, and you can create fields, so that may be something we end up doing with you. But for right now, I think we may wrap this episode up in just a moment. I think what I will want to do is just at least start seeding, so we're going to drop this cultivator down over here in storage, and then go get a seeder that is something that this tractor can use because apparently this tractor can only use so much so what cedar can we get I want a decent cedar with a wide swath if possible again I would like one that has fertilizer attached to it but None of these can do that. It seems I guess one do fertilizer and seed. No. Oh yeah, this one can. That's interesting. This one could do seed only. No, this is yeah, this could do fertilizer and seed. This one could do seed. Seed only. Seed only. It does fertilizer and seed, but we won't be able to use it too large. If that's the case, then this one does fertilizer and seed. Oh, it's an additional tank. That's all it is. So, yeah, the only ones that could do fertilizer and seed are just too strong for, too heavy for us to use. So, we'll just have to go with a seeder only. And if that's the case, 
one of the widest cedars we can get right now I think is this guy right here he's a $50,000 cedar but we might just have to bite the bullet you know what maybe we don't buy a $50,000 cedar we just can't afford that kind of cedar so we buy a cheaper cedar with less width he just does more passes it's that simple he just does what we need him to do buy him and we'll send him up there on the tractor can you do it on your own you can so this may be where we wrap it up um, we'll stock up on seed because right now we have limestone and fertilizer right now oh. uh, limestone and oh um, pesticides for when we need to spray um, so that's that's gonna be interesting well this spreader actually has a 10 meter width so this this may be how we do our fertilizer 10 meters isn't bad it's better than what our cedar is anyways so we should be able to do it relatively quickly but yeah, this may be where we stop our first episode here. We have everything we needed. We bought what we needed. We can actually save now, sleep here, store things. We're going to start seeding in this episode. Um, and the next time we check in with you guys, we'll have a seeded field. And we'll be uh, working from there. Because we may want to start creating new fields with a new excavator. Or with our new um, cultivator. And that's if we don't have any hang-ups that we can't seed because of that weird seed state that's on our fields right now. I'm hoping that that's not too strange of a seed state that, or field state, that I won't be able to um, seed the field. So if that's an issue, then we will address that in the next episode. Um, or if I won't address it, I will take care of the issue, and then I'll explain how I resolved it in the next episode. So everyone, thanks again for watching. It's been Chuck Thunder. Thanks for sticking around and watching this episode with me. Uh, if you do like what I do, please like and subscribe and watch my other channel stuff. Uh, I do like to play other games as well. Not always the most popular games, but I do appreciate anybody who does watch. Thanks again, everyone, and take care.